Welcome to Ripple Training's iTunes help page. If you've purchased or you're considering purchasing one of our training products, you're most likely watching this video because you need an overview on the process of downloading and managing the tutorial movies using Apple's iTunes software. Once you've purchased a tutorial from us, an email is generated and sent to the address you provided in your contact information. In the email, you'll find the link to the tutorial under the heading Download Tutorial Now. If more than one product was purchased, multiple links will appear. The same links appear next to each product name in the item section. If you're on a Mac, clicking a link will automatically launch iTunes. If you're on a PC, you'll need to install and launch iTunes before clicking any of the links. iTunes for Windows is available as a free download from Apple. The next step is to verify the version of iTunes you are running. Apple made significant changes to the interface in version 11.2 that affects how the tutorials are accessed. From the iTunes menu, choose About iTunes. If you're using iTunes 11.2 or later, keep watching. If you're using an earlier version of iTunes, check out our iTunes help page for further instructions. In the upper left corner of the iTunes interface is the library. The library is where all your media is organized by category, music, movies, TV shows, and podcasts. The tutorial you purchased will appear in the podcast section. To view and download your tutorial, select the tutorial from the list, then make sure the My Podcast button is selected. The name of the tutorial appears at the top of the window, along with a single episode that is downloaded automatically. In this case, a PDF labeled Important Please Read. I'll come back to this document in a moment. For those of you new to podcasts, only the first episode is downloaded to prevent your drive from filling up with content you may or may not want. You'll therefore need to download the remainder of the podcast manually. Click the Feed button in the upper right in order to view all the movies in the podcast. You can now download individual episodes by clicking the cloud icon to the right of the episode name. However, it's much faster to download them all at once by right-clicking on the podcast thumbnail in the podcast list and choosing Download All. To monitor the progress of the downloads, click the Downloads button in the upper right of the interface. A window will appear displaying the status of each episode as it downloads. If you're on a slower network, we highly recommend that you turn off Allow Simultaneous Downloads as this option could cause timeout errors. You can also view your podcasts in List View by clicking the List button at the top of the interface. I prefer this view because it's less cluttered, allowing you to clearly see all the lesson titles and their associated descriptions. Once your movies have been downloaded, they will appear with a check mark. The blue dot indicates the lesson has not been viewed. There's one final thing you'll want to do before watching any movies. Click the Settings button in the lower right of the iTunes interface. A window will appear, allowing you to control what happens to the movies stored in the podcast folder on your hard drive. Unless you want your movies deleted after you've watched them, we highly suggest turning Delete Played Episodes off from this pop-up menu. Keep in mind that turning this feature off only affects the currently selected podcast. You can also set this option up as the default operation for any future podcasts you download by clicking the Defaults button. Again, simply turn off Delete Played Episodes and you won't have to think about it again. Before watching any movies, double-click on the episode labeled Important Please Read. This will open the document in a PDF reader such as Apple's Preview app or Adobe's Acrobat. Many of our tutorials come with media for following along with the instructor in your own copy of the software you are learning. If your particular tutorial does have media associated with it, you'll find the link to download it in this PDF along with specific instructions on what to do with it once it has been downloaded. Further instructions for importing and working with the media will be provided by the instructor in the tutorial movies themselves. Some tutorials also include an ebook of the lessons. If your tutorial has an ebook, it will appear as the second episode in the list. To open it in your PDF reader, simply double click on the ebook title. The table of contents includes hyperlinks, allowing you to jump right to the lesson you're interested in. This way, you can follow along in your software using either the movies or the ebook. You can watch the tutorial movies in any order you like. However, for flow and continuity, we recommend watching them in order if you're watching them for the first time. You can watch the movies directly from the podcast section, but for maximum playback and searching efficiency, we recommend that you create a playlist for your movies. One of the primary benefits of creating a playlist is that you can customize how your movies play back, and you can even burn backups. Make sure the sidebar is still showing. Click the podcast title to select it, then click and drag the entire podcast into the sidebar below the playlist section. A green plus icon will confirm you're about to create a playlist. Release your mouse. Then click the Add to Playlist button on the window that appears. A playlist is created and named according to the podcast title. 
If you wish, you can rename the playlist because playlists appear alphabetically in the sidebar. The movie playback order can now be rearranged given ratings and other criteria. Perhaps most importantly, movies in a playlist will play back sequentially without stopping, providing you with uninterrupted viewing of the entire tutorial should you choose to watch all the lessons in one sitting. To watch a lesson, simply double click on any movie in the list and the movie will begin playing on your display. Use the on-screen controls to fast forward, rewind, or pause the movie. To access the chapter markers, click this button. Press Escape to return to the playlist. To create a backup on DVD-ROM, select the playlist, then from the file menu choose Burn Playlist to Disk. The Burn Settings window will appear. Choose Data CD or DVD, then click Burn. When prompted, insert blank DVD-R media into your Mac or PC's DVD burner. If you lose your movies due to a drive failure, you can drag the movies from your optical media back into your iTunes library. For instructions on syncing the movies with your iPad, please refer to the Important Please Read document I referred to earlier. Thanks for watching.